Welcome to my YouTube channel to be there. The Hamburg City Hall is built in the North German Renaissance style and is one of the most beautiful buildings in Hamburg. This is where the Hamburg Senate meets. After the old city hall was destroyed in the Great Fire of 1842, it took almost 44 years to build a new one. The present building was designed by a group of seven architects, led by Martin Haller. Construction started in 1886 and the new city hall was inaugurated in 1897. Its cost was 11 million German gold marks, about 80 million euros. On October 26, 1897 at the official opening ceremony the first mayor Johannes Versman received the key of the city hall. On the outside the architectural style is Neo-Renaissance, which is abandoned inside for several historical elements. It is one of the few completely preserved buildings of historicism in Hamburg. The roof is made of copper which, over time, has reacted with carbon dioxide and water and turned green, showing the age of the building. Built in a period of wealth and prosperity, in which the Kingdom of Prussia and its military defeated France in the Franco-German War and the German Empire was formed, the look of the new Hamburg Rathaus was intended to express this wealth and also the independence of the state of Hamburg and Hamburg's Republican traditions. The City Hall has a total area of 17,000 square meters. The tower is 112 meters. The courtyard is decorated with a Hygieia fountain. Hygieia as the goddess of health and hygiene in Greek mythology and its surrounding figures represents the power and pureness of the water. It was built in remembrance of the cholera epidemic in 1892, the former technical purpose was air cooling in the city hall. On the night of May 5, 1842, a fire broke out in Hamburg. The fire spread quickly through the narrow streets. To stop the fire, the people of Hamburg blew up their old town hall on the Trostburg. The reconstruction of Hamburg began just four days after the Great Fire. However, it took 55 years before the new town hall was inhabited, during which the Senate and citizens conducted government affairs in temporary premises. The townspeople argued about where to build the new building and who designed it. Almost 200 proposals were submitted for two architectural competitions, none of which was implemented. Finally, the architect Martin Haller took the initiative, the son of the former mayor founded the Town Hall Craftsmen's Association together with local craftsmen Johannes Grotchen, Bernhard Hansen, Wilhelm Hauers, Emil Meyerwein, Hugo Stammen and Gustav Zinno. They spent five years developing plans for the new political center of the Hanseatic city. The foundation stone for the new building was laid on May 6, 1886. Construction proceeded slowly, the craftsmen were hampered by the cholera epidemic and the builder's strike. By the way, Kaiser Wilhelm II visited the town hall even before its completion. On June 19, 1895, he arrived in Hamburg to celebrate the opening of the Kiel Canal. The event gave its name to the Imperial Hall. More than half a century later, the people of Hamburg received their new town hall on October 26, 1897, its official opening took place during a national holiday. Dr. Lehman, as chairman of the building commission of the town hall, handed over to the mayor Dr. Versman used the key as a visible sign that the new town hall has been completed to such an extent that it can serve the purpose for which it was built. Consisting of more than 600 rooms, the sumptuous Great Hall and the Emperor's Hall, and a commemorative fountain, the Hamburg City Hall continues to be used by local authorities today. The lobby is open to the public and often hosts performances, concerts, and other events, and tours are available inside the building. If you're looking for a place to rest your feet and catch your breath, head to the beautiful patio for some fresh air. Don't forget to like and thank you for your subscription. Many amazing places are waiting for you.